It might sound an obvious question, but what is training? Well, according to the dictionary, training is the action of teaching a particular skill or type of behaviour. What's interesting, though, is that in recent times we've seen a shift from conventional in-class teacher training to online learning. Both hold their benefits and I Holland are proud to announce that we offer both solutions. When choosing between the two, you need to consider a few things. These include business objectives, personal schedules, preferred teaching methods and time constraint for travel or convenience, budget and obviously in recent times, COVID implications. That being said, the two methods of training both share a host of benefits. Proper training allows you to strengthen the skills that you need to improve in your job function. Providing the necessary training creates equally knowledgeable staff who can support one another as needed. And this, of course, improves your productivity. Not only that, but they all will be able to spot potential mistakes before they happen. Have the expertise to provide solutions and work independently without constant help and supervision from others. This knowledge reduces mistakes and will improve overall quality and consistency of your final product. Furthermore, employees who see that their employers are invested in helping them learn new skills and develop are more likely to value the company they work for and increase their loyalty, motivation and morale. Finally, and one that can easily be overlooked, is that it's a requirement to have operators who are training in the roles that they are performing. I know that this may sound like one of the motivational posters we see so often, but every day really does have new opportunities to learn. We can learn new skills from every situation. And this is why we say training can take place all of the time. This will mostly come from managers and supervisors who are knowledgeable in what they do and pass on that knowledge on a daily basis to their teams. However, for more in-depth individual training, training requirements will depend on the team and or individuals in their positions, job requirements and willingness to learn. This is often where outside experts are brought in. We know that training is a must, and there's a few problems that it can help solve. The first one we'll talk about, which I touched on earlier, is poor performance. If you have staff that are unknowledgeable, confused and untrained in what they're doing, they will struggle to perform their daily tasks. Increasing employee knowledge helps to increase their motivation and will lead to better performance. Poor skill sets within a team can create an abundance of issues and bridging these gaps can help solve costly tablet press downtime. Increased training will ensure that everyone is on an equal playing field so that when problems arrive, more than one person can help find a solution. A collaborative approach can be made to solving the problem. This is particularly important if the skilled person within the area is off on holiday. The team is then not reliant on one person in order to complete the job. The team should have the knowledge and expertise to understand what the problem is and what has caused it and how to solve it and how to prevent it from happening next time. Identifying these areas for improvement relates to the previous problem of poor performance. Directly relating to a poor skill set and poor performance is the issue of poor quality. Again, as we've alluded to before in this presentation, all companies will have a set of standards that they need to work to and measurables they need to achieve. Proper training will guarantee top quality results through consistency and increased productivity. Over the past few slides, 
We've given multiple reasons why training is important, but to summarize them for you. Training will increase employee motivation as they become more confident and develop the correct skills to perform their job roles effectively. The more people are trained within a team, the less likely that there will be any knowledge gaps. This means that everyone should be able to identify key problems and come up with solutions for the present and the future. This in turn increases productivity by ensuring projects don't stop, which leads to an improved return on investment. In terms of tableting and production engineers, this could mean a decrease in tablet press downtime, increased tablet output, and an increased tablet quality. The page you see on screen now is the first page you will access when you log on to the system. It's worth noting that the style is customizable and can be branded to your company requirements. This includes adding your logo, connecting to your social media pages, and customizing the relevant widgets. Let's have a little look at each of the aspects of the page. The home screen is stylish and very user friendly. We've compiled it with nine widgets that easily move you to where you want to go. The resume widget takes you to the last course that you left. It's worth noting earlier that you can start and stop courses midway, depending on your time schedule. When you come back to it, you can start again where you left off. The My Courses button takes you to all your courses that you're enrolled in, if you want to have a look at where your progress is. Your inbox will contain automated messages, for example, notifying you that you've been enrolled onto a new course. When a course is about to expire, or in this example, that your certificate is about to expire soon. Your inbox may also contain messages from your manager. You can also access your messages from any screen by clicking the envelope button on the top left hand side of the screen. Resources is a category of available documents that might be useful for you. The catalogues may contain a list of courses that are optional for you to take and you can self enrol on them. Finally, the socials connect to your Facebook and YouTube channels for ease of access. The three horizontal lines to the top right of the person icon let you access any of the widgets from any page you're on. There are a few more on screen, but we'll let you have a play around with these. As I've mentioned before with IHTMS, the tableting industry is a global business, and we always want to make sure that our customers are comfortable using our products. So again, the online learning platform has language capability. I'll go through these now in more detail. The first way to change the language is at system level. You can choose from a variety of languages by clicking the world icon on the bottom left and selecting the language you would like the system to be in. Note that changing the language on the system will not change the course language. You'll need to request this change from a member of the iHolland team. That being said, our courses are currently translated in Spanish, Portuguese, Korean and Chinese. If there is a specific language that you would like to see, please let us know. We pride ourselves on having the most comprehensive modules available within the industry. We've combined our 75 years of knowledge on tablet compression tooling to bring you a very thorough and in-depth set of courses. And we're constantly creating more, like our brand new course on practical maintenance. The courses also contain a large array of learning styles to meet all needs. Let's go through some of them now. You can track your progress through the course in the left-hand column. The circle will guide you how far you have to go. Each course follows the same pattern, and as you scroll down, more content will appear. Along the way, you will find content such as videos, scroll throughs, and interactive buttons to click on. Some videos in the course will also contain audio with more detailed description. At the end of each course, there will be a mini quiz to test your knowledge and see how much information you've retained. Likewise to the courses, there will be different types of questions to keep you engaged. Let's have a look at some of the questions you might encounter. The introduction slide will let you know that you're about to start a quiz for an appropriate course. Once you click Start Quiz, if there's a time limit, you will notice a countdown in the top right hand corner. Keep an eye on this as you go along. We're doing the Test Your Knowledge Quiz, which gives you a good example of the different types of questions. These include 
multiple choice, text, multiple answer selections, ordering, interactive clicking, and drag and drop. Once you have passed and completed a course in its entirety, you will receive a certificate with the date of completion. These can be downloaded to PDF and saved locally. You can always go back and have a look at your certificates by viewing your transcript. This will also give you a good indication if your certificate is about to expire. If this is the case, you might want to look at taking the course again or taking a similar one. Flipping the view completely from a management perspective, it's now time to look at the admin side of things. It's worth noting that a company structure can be as hierarchical as required, so some viewing options may differ slightly. This is the main dashboard of the admin portal and gives you a nice overview of activity, learners and courses enrolled within your department. From the admin section, you'll be able to view the department progress, send messages to your department, view individual achievements and generate reports. System reports are a useful feature to track company measurables. Within the system, there are a few different ways you can do this. The first is by filtering through and creating your own custom reports. For example, say we wanted to have a look at department logins for comparison. We select from the list and gather all the relevant data. This can now be exported to Excel. From there, the data can be further analysed and graphed. The system also has some built-in customer reports, including learner activity, learner progress, department progress, course activity, and more. Thanks for sticking with us. We hope you found these demonstrations useful, and we know it's a lot of information to take in. To summarise everything we've been talking about, there are three main points to come away with. Firstly, proactively managing your tooling through monitoring of your tooling inventories and maintenance will ensure that you get the most from your tool sets and keep you up to date with regulatory compliance. Secondly, learning happens daily, but scheduled and planned training means that everyone on a team as the same general level of knowledge, increasing their enthusiasm and confidence in the ability to perform daily tasks. And thirdly, both managing tooling and training of personnel have one thing in common. They increase productivity and reduce tablet press downtime.